Hi everyone, this is Bernard Bertrand, photographer, director, and Lumix ambassador. Today on this j Chicks Tips and Tricks, I would like to pinpoint some of the specificities that excite me the most in this brand new j 6 So obviously, if there is something impressive here with this j 6 it is the recording quality menu. And of course, no matter which one, the recording time is unlimited. And if there is one that I'm going to use and abuse, it is for sure the 5.8 anamorphic mode. And if not this one, then it will be the 4.4K anamorphic again and both of those with internal recording and this is the one i've been using to shoot those images that i actually did cover into another video then we also have the apple prores 422 hq and 422 and both internal recording as well and as i mentioned into another video we have here a large choice in between all intra and long gop recording then we have the slow motion the 100p, 4K and Cinema 4K and up to 300 FPS in Full HD. And to be able to find your way into the menu, one really great thing is that they did introduce the filtering display menu. You just have to click at the bottom right in the menu, then step into the filtering option. Let's say I want to jump straight to the anamorphic recording mode so I can go into the filtering menu and there I see the 4.8K 4 third and the 4.4 4 third. Or let's say that I want to play with the slow motion. So I only want to see the variable frame rate recordings. I go at the bottom and enter the variable frame rate on. And I will pass from 34 recording options to 11. Another great feature is that we are gaining two and a half stop of body image stabilization with the GH6 that now goes up to 7.5 stops of body image stabilization. And I clearly remember my feeling when I was passing back then from the GH4 to the GH5. I was amazed by the image stabilization that actually really changed the way I work. If you are following me on my channel, you know that I'm working handheld most of the time. And the GH5 was a five stop of body stabilization. We are getting now 7.5 stops of image stabilization. And this stabilization can also adapt when you are recording with anamorphic lenses or scopes. This is just amazing. And this brings me to another great feature. And this is the 100 megapixel still image when shooting on high resolution mode. I was amazed when reading the specs of the GH6. I saw that this high resolution mode producing a huge 100 megapixel file by capturing eight still images in a row was capable of doing so and held. I had to test it to believe it. And I did another GH6 tips and tricks about it. It works. It really do. So of course, it's great for still lives and landscape photography. Another extremely helpful feature is that we are now able to upload LUTs as on the Lumix S cameras when shooting Vlog. We are able to use any VLT LUT and I did a video in the past about it, but now you are able to upload cube LUTs. This is really great. So now when stepping into the Vlog view assist menu, not only you will be able to use the VLT LUTs, but also your favorite cube LUTs. And really quick tip, as soon as you upload and select a LUT, as I did, I have for now the default VLOG to Rec 709 LUT, a teal and orange milestone LUT coming from my Lutify Me library, and then a black and white VLT LUT. I select the milestone teal and orange LUT. And because I want to make the use of it extremely easy, I will simply push and hold the button right there, right next to the camera handle. And by pushing and holding the button, it brings me straight to the customization menu. There, I navigate into the LUT view assist monitor. And from there, I also push and hold the other button right under this one. And by doing so, I step straight back to the same menu to assign another function to this one. And there I select LUT view assist HDMI. Now I'm all set when shooting Vlog. I have a total control of my LUT at the tip of my fingers. I can anytime see my Vlog image with or without LUT on my camera monitor and same thing on the external monitor via HDMI. It makes the use of my LUT extremely easy. Then another absolutely great feature I personally will use and explore a lot is the brand new 4 audio channel recording mode. And I did cover this topic in more details in another GH6 tips and tricks video. Basically with the XLR module and using also the mini jack input, you will be able to record four audio channels at the same time. And not only, and I love this one, using a headset, you will be able to monitor channel by channel or two channels at a time. To get this level of audio control before, you would have to use an external device. Now on the GH6, this four audio channel recording and monitoring is there within the beast. 
And of course, we have here the brand new Venus engine processor. And with all the impressive video recording qualities, they added the fan on the back of the camera, the exact same that you would find on the S1H. And to be honest, I never had the feeling that my S1H was struggling with heat, never. So there is one fan here, obviously also because it's an unlimited video recording camera, but I guess I will have the same feeling as on my S1H. Once again, I never had the feeling to have an overheating issue, but it's there in case. And it also shows that we are dealing here with a real video beast, ready for the most demanding video setups. And of course, I do not want to make it too long here. So those are the features that impressed me the most and the one that will be dealing with most of the time. But if I need to add a bonus one, it is really simple and pretty obvious. It is a micro four third video monster and it has a lot coming from the huge step forwards of the Lumix S, such as the Netflix camera listed S1H. But as I personally started with the GH4, then I've been working with the GH5. Like many of us, I still own and use many amazing gorgeous micro four third lenses, such as my beloved Nocticron 42.5 f1.2. This one was literally glued to my GH5 before. Then the Summilux 25 f1.4, I've been talking about it because it is also my taking lens when shooting anamorphic with the Evascope and the most recent crazy 10 to 25 mm f1.7 and this other Leica Vario Simulux 25 to 50 mm f1.7 also. Those are professional zoom lenses. But I also been using a lot the 12 to 35 f2.8. That one has been to me like a 4x4 zoom lens, the SUV of micro four third I should say. And this is to me the cherry on the cake. We are getting here the new G86 a real video production monster. And I will be able to get the very best of it by using it with those many lenses I already own. I am super excited by this brand new camera and I will make sure to come back on my channel sharing with you many behind the scenes and exciting content. So that's it for now. Make sure to subscribe as I will come really soon with other GH6 content. Thank you very much. See you next time.